Hi, Tom here with my new Circle Line Art School video, How to Draw the Manhattan Bridge. The first step in one point perspective is to draw a horizontal line, and for this drawing we need to draw the line low down on the page. Next, draw a cross anywhere near the middle on this horizontal line, and this cross will be the vanishing point, the point where parallel lines will converge or meet, seem to meet, in this picture. Now draw two diagonal lines from the vanishing point to the left and then the right hand corner of your page. Next, on the left vanishing point, we can draw a vertical line and that will be the far edge of the first building that we're drawing. Now we can add another diagonal line from the vanishing point that crosses over this vertical line to make the top edge of the first building that we're drawing. Now we can add another vertical line for the near corner of the first building. And then, because it's one point perspective, we can have two horizontal lines going to the left where these lines meet to show the front of the building. We can repeat this process to create other buildings, but we must remember to keep all of the vertical lines straight, straight and parallel to the edge of your paper. So the fronts of all the buildings that are facing towards us are rectangles and the sides of the buildings all taper towards the vanishing point. So all the sides of the buildings are all end up at the vanishing point. So once we've done this, we can erase some of the lines that we don't need anymore in our drawing. So we don't need most of the horizontal line or the lines that go behind the buildings that we've drawn in the foreground. Now at this stage, this is a somewhat simpler drawing as we can see the basic shapes that we have created. So on the left, we can now add some details in this one point perspective drawing.
Now we have got a tonal drawing of the buildings in one point perspective, it is time to add the Manhattan Bridge. This steel suspension bridge is in the distance, but it's still very large because it's just a big bridge. So I think I'll draw it with a lighter tone. So throughout this drawing I'm using a 4B pencil, but to create a lighter tone, I just need to press the pencil not too hard to create a lighter tone. So this lighter tone will help the bridge seem that it's further away due to atmospheric perspective which is a sort of perspective which isn't linear perspective like one point perspective. The Manhattan Bridge is in the architectural style called Structural Expressionism and I want to show that structure in my drawing and also to create a sense of time and place, at least a sense of mood in the drawing, that's why I use so much tone. I can add here the famous view of the Empire State Building in this negative shape of the bridge. I think I'll draw some puddles on the roadway and I can show maybe some reflections of the tonal buildings in these puddles. I hope you find this drawing useful for your own drawings and please subscribe to my YouTube channel Circle Line Art School for a free how to draw video every week. There are now over 200 of my videos to see. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.